where the hollows like trees are to the ominous lights to the shadows that look very nice and grim like right to it spooky looking tree to a moon that shines you can see that's right up, up above connecting to the trees that looks like a grim looking eye to be seen from where the moon is flies the sky right to a place that has mysterious lights with a tree shadow figure of a tree down to where you see someone wearing a hood okay got yeah, tricks to host race here and I'm here to take you behind the scene sets of what you're about to see in our 10th installment being our installment of the Hollows Haunter Grim. Without any further ado, let's get to it right now. So let's get those little lights on, 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 on me and let's go. We are inside. Now we will walk and I will show you around of what you're going to be seeing in our 10th installment being our Hunter Gr Grim. I'll even t uh, uh, tell you the title for this one. Before we carry on, I want to let you know that I will be describing what you will be s be seeing. Lights, please. First up, you'll see this grim-looking door handle. Pull back, and you'll see are some pictures. Two on two. One on the right and one on the left. One is holding a skull and the other is kind of like right next to a, pick, a picket fence. On here, we will get is this. And on the wall, you'll be seeing, not this besides as this, but you'll be seeing this. As our opener picture before the video begins. You be seeing this right here. We also have this as our opening character right here. The one with the hood of the Grim. Down by it, you'll see is some stones. One with uh, the Grim onto it right there, where the other also has is like. A Phantom of the Opera mask on onto it, and down below, we all have, you can see we got a, a, a broken piece right there with a uh, hollows like the bone, and we got some green stuff that will symbolize grass from outside. Down below, you'll see is a cross tombstone. Yes, you'll see just right there that I'm pointing at. We'll start with ground level. You will we'll be seeing is this skeleton now in a different kind of form. That is holding a skull and holding a flower. And this time has gray hair. Look up behind of it. We'll get is a grim 
Hugh's grim tombstone. The holes of flower, just like the one here. Look up. All the way up. And it's like a huge, grim tombstone. And all the way up from that, we will get is this, um, like, grim like creature of some kind. We can see this right here. Further up, you'll get to see some grim like candles with, like, what appears to be is blood drips from one. Uh, more we'll get is this grim like thing over here that appears to have to be it has wings onto it as you can see right there from, from there you'll get is another candle right beside of it where the hand is coats display we have is a grim like ho hollow sword right here and it, we've got another one here that's more completely different from the uh, one you've seen this right here. Look up to the couch display. We have is like a pelt of some kind, a spider. Uh, we've got uh, a candle pack, a, ca a black candle that sits upon here on a candle holder. Um, a interesting looking candle with a spider like web on to it. Well, here we get is a Grim Reaper like head. Right there as a head part of the couch display. Look down below it, you see, is a black spider onto a black web. Look up, you'll see is another spider, a different one with a cup and a silver vase. Look way up here to the spider. Web like wall thing here to where you see is the Grim Reaper's uh, picture frame that has a different spider on top of it. Scene just right here. Opposite side we have is a, a hook. You see just right here. Wall. Like tombstone, like thing over here. And then we get to uh, um, this nice looking, looking thing up here. We will is look down. From that, you'll get to see is a bone and a skull that is wearing um, an interesting looking helmet. Look up from there. We get to see is. A different kind of sword at this time, a more of a longer one. From there, we get to see is from the upper is a bone from a hand from Halloween um, to a grim like skull like face mask, and then we get this grim like uh, tombstone that has like a bat on top of it. That's part of the stone. Look past that. We get to see is a black cross that stands. A silver candle. Back up some more. You get to see a cup. With um, a tray. And a silver like skull. With candle wax on it. And a pentagram or a star on it. With a black candle. Um, a silver pitcher. And a silver plate. Behind of it, you'll see is bones of a rat. This is actually one for, from Halloween. Behind of it, we got is a candle. A different kind of candle that um, has a different kind of holder to it. And the opposite side of that, um, side of that is another candle. Right there, the silver. That's the same one as you see right there. Now here we are in the uh, center, we, you'll see is a gargoyle that is perched up upon a big huge mound of skulls, seen to see here. And that goes for this table, this, this table display. And then we get to the tricks table, 
where you, you'll see a flower with silver, t uh, silver, silver petals. Behind it, you'll see our two skulls, grim-like skulls, and a mount, um, kind of a haunted-like mount that will have something on top of it. What's on top is this grim-looking cup. The grim-like hand is holding this cup, seen to see here. Then, no, beside of it, is a black candle. That's into this. Interesting looking vase. Back up, you'll see the table drape. Right here. It has skulls onto on, on it. We'll also take a look down right at it. Side set on this wall we have is a, a Bucky skeleton with um, a picture of the Grim. Looks like a haunted frame. On uh, side of it, we uh, ha um, have is this nice um, grim like mask in bandages that what it looks like. Up above, you see a tombstone, a different kind, and the number three. Number three, we have is a picture right on top there. And then follow that down to over here, we get to these pictures right there. Uh, a different picture this time, and we got one that looks like part of the Grim. I'll back up so you can see the full for over here on this um, back wall display. Now I'll show you what it looks like in full. The full setups uh, and displays from table and wall. We all also is dim the lights and only have that lamp on for the first uh, for the first part and uh, during production as well too. Which is the lamp you see just right behind here that I'm pointing at. We'll use we'll use that to get a nice look to the setup and to give um, a slight haunted look to it. Besides, as keeping with the um, title of the haunted Hallows Grim. Now I'm going to t I'm going to is um, tell you the uh, title here as well too on our tenth installment in the series. Before I do, I want to show you a mirror that I created for this. Before we get right into um, me uh, coming out. The, uh, the title for this installment. Here is the mirror. And you can see. I actually made it this specifically. For this installment. This is what you'll see. This is here. Down to the floor. We'll get to see. My book. Right there. So this is here. Is the, my, my transcript. That I will be reading off the tricks. There is no, nothing in yet, because I still got to um, complete the uh, sheet work here. But uh, there's a title right there that I'll be reading off to, off to. So from the book, right to you. Book now is just on my lap. And here is where I will sit while reading off of the title to you. The title for our 10th installment is a gothic hallows haunter grim with grim tastic tricks and haunted grim time magic tricks and all the tricks and magic will be in relation to the setup um to the outfit as well as um right to the main title we might be um, doing is a part one and a part two it all depends because as is I got the tricks over here that I got to is um oh I'll show you this is all right here in these in this right here you can see bags into that box there you can see some bags over here so once I know the full total 
we will construct, construct the videos, and um, if uh, it does take for a part one on on part two, I'll be putting that in the community post, letting you know exactly uh, the, the, the total of tricks, as well as uh, if it's going to be a part one and a part two. But anyways, this concludes the behind the scenes uh, sets of the tenth installment. I'll see you when we get right to the tenth installment. First, we're going to is get one quick Christmas one Christmas video with the only twelve tricks. That much I know, and one Boxing Day one, which will be um, just everyday items. And then after that's done, we'll get back onto our tenth installment and completing our series. Come here, Australia. Reese. Peace. Most love and blessings. Namaste.